We're about to uncover a hidden gem that's been quietly perfecting the art of being one of the nicest cities to live in in the country. Nestled along the New England coast, this town is a treasure trove of culture, history, and breathtaking views. Despite its irresistible charm, it's managed to remain a bit of a secret, but trust me, that's all about to change. Get ready to explore Portsmouth, New Hampshire. America's best small city, and also we're going to look into why, despite its incredible charm, not many people are moving here. But first, let me introduce myself. My name's Cam Avery. I'm a local real estate agent with the Avery Realty Group and Keller Williams, and this channel is all about living in Maine and New Hampshire, and so if that's something that you're interested in learning about, definitely subscribe to our channel. Thank you so much for doing so. I really appreciate it. Now, before we jump into why Portsmouth is a city that's worth a closer look, let's talk about what makes it so special. The population of Portsmouth is only 22,270, which is why I call it a micro city, because if you're coming from a major city like New York or Dallas, Portsmouth is really no larger than a small town. But despite its small size, it packs a punch in terms of walkability, things to do, and incredibly low crime. From its cobblestone streets to historic waterfront, this town is a delightful blend of old world charm and modern innovation. Stroll through Market Square and you'll be surrounded by quaint boutiques, cafes, and local galleries that add to its artistic vibe. It really feels like you step back in time when you walk through Market Square, and if you're actually from England, not New England, but real England, you'll feel right at home as the area definitely harkens back to the old England in its style and architecture. When it comes to choices to eat, Portsmouth has got you covered. And if you like food, do me a favor, hit the like button. I know it's small, but it really helps me out. So thank you again for doing that. In fact, because of its small population, Portsmouth has the highest per capita ratio of restaurants to residents of any city in the country, with approximately one eatery for every 162 residents. Essentially, the the entire city could go out to eat on the same night and they still wouldn't be able to fill all the restaurants in Portsmouth. Pretty crazy, right? Trust me guys, if you're a foodie, Portsmouth will sweep you off your feet. The culinary scene here is a gastronomic adventure waiting to happen. From amazing Italian food at the Rosa, to great burgers at Burger Bar, to high-end dining at the Black Trumpet, to amazing seafood at Jumpin' Jay's, just to name a few, there is really no shortage of amazing food to eat in Portsmouth, and it's one of the reasons that the city is such a great place to live. But it's not just the food. Portsmouth is steeped in rich history too. Did you know that it's one of the oldest towns in America? The Strawberry Bank Museum takes you back in time with its restored colonial buildings and interactive exhibits. And let's not forget about the maritime heritage. The USS Albacore Museum and the historic harbor tours are a must for anyone who's fascinated by naval history. As much as we love to hate on the historical zoning regulations for being incredibly strict in regards to what can be built, it does definitely come in handy for keeping the city feeling historical yet somewhat modern at the same time. Finally, and this is probably my favorite part about Portsmouth, is the community that lives here. In this small city, you're not just facing the crowd of millions of people. With a population that's smaller than your average metropolis, Portsmouth boasts a strong sense of community. You'll find farmers markets, music festivals, and neighborhood events that really bring everyone together. Plus, the quality of life here is top notch with low crime rates, excellent schools, and a focus on sustainability. So you might be wondering with all of these amazing qualities, why isn't Portsmouth flooded with newcomers? Well, on a very small scale we are, but when you look at major relocation states like Florida and Texas, New Hampshire just doesn't really sit high up on the list of places that people are looking to move to, although I think it should. I think the biggest deterrent to people moving to Portsmouth is the higher than average cost of living and the incredibly competitive housing market. With record low inventory, rising interest rates, and high property taxes, Portsmouth is quite frankly just too expensive for many Americans. And rather than moving here, they look to other places in the country that are more affordable. The reality is you will pay a lot more money for a lot less house here than in other parts of the country. But what you get is an incredibly safe and prosperous place to live. And so you have to determine, is it worth the cost of entry? We actually made a whole video about the cost of living in New Hampshire, and so check that out. And also definitely check out our free relocation guide. We made it all about moving to the area. You can download it totally free just by clicking the link right in the description below. Another reason people aren't moving here, I've noticed is that people don't move to New England unless they have some sort of connection to the area. I think New Englanders probably get a bit of a bad rap for being cold and unwelcoming when the reality is most people who live here are very nice and welcoming. You know, we just don't have 
time to spend 30 minutes talking about the weather to every stranger that we meet because quite frankly, we got stuff to do, right? I've got to go get my Dunkin' Donuts and eat my lobster roll and park my car down in Boston Yard, right? I don't have time to smile at every single human being on the planet, but that doesn't mean I'm mean or unwelcoming. It just means that I'm not from the South, right? So we may not have the same Southern hospitality that you're accustomed to. Another thing you may not be accustomed to is the winter weather. Portsmouth definitely gets its share of snow and ice during the winter time, which makes the seasonality of the city a potential downside for prospective buyers looking to move to the area. Because the city is so small, it can feel like somewhat of a ghost town in the winter. And so if you move here from a major urban city, just know that ahead of time, Portsmouth in the winter is going to be much different than what you're used to. Of course, you can only keep a good thing hidden for so long. As word spreads about this city's unique blend of history, culture, and community, it's only a matter of time before Portsmouth becomes the go-to destination for those seeking a more relaxed yet vibrant lifestyle. But I've got to admit, I think the winter weather and seasonality are going to deter just enough people to help keep Portsmouth what it is for a little bit longer. What do you think? Comment below, I'd love to hear from you, and make sure to watch this video here about the affordability crisis in New Hampshire.